Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Plov, pilaf, this is a classic Uzbek dish made with rice, meat, usually lamb or beef, carrots, onions, and a variety of spices. Plov is often cooked in a large cauldron over an open flame, and it is a staple food in Uzbek cuisine. Plov, also known as pilaf, palo, or paleo, is a popular rice dish that is commonly found in Central Asian, Middle Eastern, and South Asian cuisine. The dish typically consists of rice that is cooked with spices, vegetables, and meat, although there are vegetarian and vegan versions as well. The exact recipe for plov varies depending on the region and the specific cultural traditions. However, some common ingredients include rice, onions, carrots, garlic, cumin, coriander, and various types of meat such as lamb, beef, or chicken. To make plov, the rice is typically first rinsed and soaked in water for a period of time before being drained and set aside. In a separate pot, the meat is cooked with the spices and vegetables until they are tender and flavorful. Then, the rice is added to the pot along with enough water to cover the ingredients. The mixture is simmered until the rice is fully cooked and fluffy, and the flavors have melded together. Plav is often served as a main course, either on its own or accompanied by other dishes such as salads, yogurt, or bread. It is a hearty and filling dish that is enjoyed by many around the world. Samsa. Samsa is a type of savory pastry filled with meat, usually lamb or beef, onions, and sometimes potatoes or pumpkin. Samsa is a savory pastry that is popular in Central Asia, particularly in Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kazakhstan. It is similar to a samosa, but with a different filling and pastry. The pastry is typically made with a flaky dough that is rolled out thinly and cut into small circles or triangles. The filling for samsa usually consists of ground lamb or beef, onions, and spices such as cumin, coriander, and black pepper. Sometimes potatoes, pumpkin, or other vegetables are also added to the filling. To make samsa, a small amount of the filling is placed in the center of each pastry circle, and then the edges are folded over and crimped to seal the pastry. The samsa are then baked in an oven until golden brown and crispy. Samsa is often served as a snack or appetizer, and can also be a part of a larger meal. It is commonly sold in markets, street stalls, and bakeries throughout Central Asia. The pastry is typically enjoyed hot and fresh out of the oven and is a popular and delicious food item in the region. Shashlik Shashlik is a popular street food in Uzbekistan and other Central Asian countries. Shashlik, also known as shish kebab, is a popular grilled meat dish that is commonly found in Central Asian, Middle Eastern, and South Asian cuisine. The dish typically consists of skewered and marinated pieces of meat, which are grilled over an open flame. The exact recipe for shashlik can vary depending on the region and the specific cultural traditions. However, some common meats used for shashlik include lamb, beef, chicken, and sometimes fish. The meat is usually cut into bite-sized pieces and marinated for several hours or overnight in a mixture of spices, vinegar, oil, and sometimes yogurt or sour cream. To make shashlik, the marinated meat is threaded onto metal or wooden skewers and grilled over hot coals until it is cooked through and charred on the outside. The skewers are often served with a variety of side dishes such as salads, bread, and grilled vegetables. Shashlik is a popular food item in many countries and regions and can be found in street stalls, markets, and restaurants throughout the Middle East, Central Asia, and beyond. It is a flavorful and satisfying dish that is often enjoyed with friends and family during social gatherings and celebrations. Lagman, Lagman is a noodle soup that is popular in Uzbekistan.
Lagmin is a traditional noodle soup that is popular in Central Asian cuisine, particularly in Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. The dish is typically made with hand-pulled noodles and a variety of vegetables, meat, and spices. The exact recipe for lagmin can vary depending on the region and the specific cultural traditions. However, some common ingredients include beef or lamb, onions, carrots, peppers, tomatoes, potatoes, and a variety of spices such as cumin, coriander, and paprika. Hand-pulled noodles, known as lagmin noodles, are a key component of the dish. To make lagmin, the meat is first ground in a pot with onions and spices. Vegetables such as carrots, peppers, and tomatoes are then added along with water or broth. And the mixture is simmered until the vegetables are tender. The hand-pulled noodles are added to the pot towards the end of the cooking process and are cooked until they are tender and fully cooked. Lagmin is typically served as a hearty soup with the noodles and vegetables in a flavorful broth. The dish can be garnished with fresh herbs such as cilantro and is often accompanied by bread or other side dishes. It is a delicious and satisfying dish that is enjoyed by many in Central Asia and beyond. Manti, manti are small dumplings filled with meat, usually lamb or beef, and onions. The dumplings are typically boiled or steamed and served with a side of sour cream or yogurt. Manti is a traditional dumpling dish that is popular in Central Asian cuisine, particularly in Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan. The dish typically consists of small, meat-filled dumplings that are steamed or boiled and served with various sauces or dips. The exact recipe for manti can vary depending on the region and the specific cultural traditions. However, some common ingredients include ground lamb or beef, onions, garlic, and spices such as cumin, coriander, and black pepper. The dumpling dough is typically made with flour, water, and salt. To make manti, small circles of dough are rolled out and filled with a small amount of the meat mixture. The edges of the dough are then pinched together to form a small sealed dumpling. The manti are then steamed or boiled until they are fully cooked and tender. Manti is typically served with a variety of sauces or dips, such as yogurt or sour cream mixed with garlic and herbs, tomato sauce, or melted butter with paprika. The dumplings are often garnished with fresh herbs such as cilantro or dill. Manti is a delicious and satisfying dish that is enjoyed by many in Central Asia and beyond. It is a staple of traditional cuisine and is often served during special occasions and celebrations.